What's up everybody, this is Air Queen Harry and today I want to introduce you to my new building system. Now this is not a how-to video, this is just going to give you a brief introduction as to the steps I take to build this house. Now it took me a long time to come up with this system of building and, and this system is designed number one to build a dome house to code. So this structure you could legally build in anywhere in the country, in the United States. Um, so as long as you have, you know, your uh, building plan, your building permit and your structural engineering plan, this would be a dome that you could build to code. Unlike uh, a lot of the aircrete domes that are out there um, where you're not allowed to build that type of structure unless you're building in a county that has no building codes uh, but if you're outside of one of those counties and you do have to comply with building codes then this would be the system you would want to use and um, honestly for me after doing years of experimenting with aircrete um, I don't personally feel secure in a structure that's made purely of aircrete now, aircrete with a reinforcing fabric, it's really good, but uh, it really pales in comparison to what I'm building here. Because what I'm going for here is maximum strength, uh, least cost, and um, construction method that one person could do themselves. So that's right, this dome here, one person could technically build it themselves, although it's much easier with two or three people uh, you could build this dome with one person and um, that's a lot of that is in part to the air form because uh, there's air forms you can buy out there that are commercial that are good for a uh, hundred times you could reuse them up to a hundred times the air forms I'm making are one-time use and it's a low pressure system unlike the other air forms that are a high pressure system that are reusable and um, the bad thing about those are they're very heavy and you need a crew of people to work with it you know to open it up and to mount it to the foundation it's a lot of work where as to what I'm doing with these air forms made from Tyvek uh, one person can do everything themselves and that's really important when you're building your own home because you're trying to save money because the big thing that costs a lot can be labor and so I don't need to hire anybody for this system that I've been developing here so again this is not a how-to video but what you saw in the beginning was um, I have uh, stakes in the ground and I used quarter inch MDF wood. I'm sorry, I used quarter inch masonite wood. And I uh, have four by eight sheets that I cut into six inch strips. And that is the strips, the strips of wood you see going away all the way around. Now it's very thin. The idea was to use as little wood as possible and to use as little materials as possible to do my form work. So I did a test ring beam, which is that dome you see in the back there. And um, after I, I did that test, meaning uh, it, Mrs. Aircreed and I mixed all the cement manually in the cement mixer. And we dumped it in just to see if the form would hold this wood and the uh, house wrap and plastic. So we did that. It worked. And uh, the slab you see here is actually the very first one. And um, once I saw it worked, I felt confident enough that I could repeat the process, make some improvements, and then order a cement truck and not worry about my forms blowing out because that, that was a big concern. So after I did this first one you see us here working on, it, um, it uh, gave me the confidence that the system worked and I was able to move on. So here we just did 1,200 gallons of aircrete we mixed up and poured into the slab. And the aircrete we used, I have a special ingredient that thickens the cement up and uh, the aircrete. 
allowing you to trowel it and bull float it right after mixing so it gives it dense it gives it the density and it also allows you to do uh, taller pours when you have this ingredient in there and um, anyway that's a, a, a real key ingredient to my air creep mixes that I personally make is I'm able to get uh, a thicker air creep for taller pours and for doing stuff like you just saw we just poured that air creep and we were able to use a bull float on it normal air creep uh, the bull float would just sink to the bottom it wouldn't float um, anyway this is the air form <clears throat> that I made and we inflate it and when you inflate these air forms for the first time that process is called the birthing so uh, what you're gonna see next is a fiberglass reinfest, uh, reinforcing fiberglass mesh that we're gonna slip on over this Tyvek air form and um, this mesh is going to serve a, a few uh, purposes. The first is, is going to uh, give the cement something to adhere to. Because the Tyvek is very slippery, if I, uh, if I just did the cement, I'd have a hard time having it stick without having to do very light coats. But having this fiberglass on there, it uh, allows the cement to grab onto something then the fiberglass is also acting as a reinforcing fabric as well as a compression fabric to help keep pressure on that air form to help prevent any exploding that may occur occur now i've never had it with all the air forms i've made but it's always a worry of mine that the air form might blow so putting this fiberglass uh, mesh over like a hat and um it helps to hold that pressure in and uh, it gives it a lot more strength so what you're gonna see is well actually you're not gonna see it in this video but I spray this mesh on uh, I sprayed cement onto this mesh now the cement is a special mix that I've been developing and I call it a latex cement and uh, I have a few ingredients that go into it that I'm not going to get into right now but when you mix it up it'll give you a, uh, a waterproof uh, cement and it's uh, super strong and so the whole idea behind it is to be able to build a thin shelled dome that's super strong because it's reinforced so the first reinforcing you saw was the fiberglass mesh uh, then we put on about a quarter inch of my latex cement onto that fiberglass mesh and now we're installing the stucco wire mesh and this is a, a galvanized product so it won't rust and it's uh, really strong it's a lot stronger than um, like for example basalt mesh uh, I was I do have some basalt mesh and I am gonna build some domes using it but the cost of the basalt mesh in comparison to the stucco wire mesh is uh, there's a big difference and um, in my opinion uh, right now I don't I don't see any reason not to use this stucco wire it's just so much stronger and so much less expensive than the basalt so anyway the idea is uh, you cover the dome uh, completely in this stucco wire mesh and then you spray another coating of cement to embed most of the wire in cement so what you really what I'm really going for is anywhere from one inch to two inches of a super strong cement mix uh, as my structural shell so another reinforcing option is on top of this stucco wire mesh you can put a uh, rebar and uh, I have basalt rebar but you can use either basalt rebar which is very easy to work with because it's a lot lighter and flexible or you could just use regular steel rebar either one is fine uh, and that'll give you a, another layer of reinforcement uh, in this case it would be three layers of reinforcement that the structure would 
have. Now, um, in most of the country, you're allowed to build these domes with just rebar and cement. And um, you can legally build that. So I don't see any reason why you can't build what you just what you're seeing in this video which is three layers of reinforcing uh, material so um, anyway this is what I came up with because I want to build the maximum strength house that I can build for the least amount of money and I've come up with it this is the system that you see here I could build this is a 16 foot dome it's 12 foot tall at the peak and this dome will cost approximately 5000 once complete uh, to build the structure. Now this is one dome of eight that are going to be built here. And um, uh, this particular dome is going to uh, be my pantry dome where I keep all my food, uh, store all my food and, and stuff. And so um, what you're not going to see in this video is the last coat which is going to be my epic mix but you can also make aircrete bricks and put the uh, some, some mortar on aircrete bricks onto this structural shell so anyway I just wanted to introduce everyone to the system basically how it's done uh, I will have some other videos in the future that show a lot more um, but as I said the Oh, another thing is I'm actually working on a cement mixer, a special mixer for mixing all the different cements, cements that I use, which is Aircrete and Epic and other uh, latex cement. And so it'll mix and pump. Anyway, peace out, y'all. I love you all, and I'll catch you later.